Dr. Erica Bozio. I am working currently with the Centre for Clinical Research in Emergency Medicine at Royal Perth Hospital. And our current research focus, or one of our many research focuses at the moment, is looking for new diagnostic markers to help diagnose stroke. Um, I began with this research team in 2015, um, and thanks to the work of our predecessors, we've been able to uh, establish a study looking at um, trying to improve treatment for stroke or improve ways clinicians can diagnose stroke when they get to the emergency department. So this work is being completed thanks to funding and support from the Medical Research Foundation at the Royal Perth Hospital. We, we, our unit is part of the Harry Perkins Institute for Medical Research and the Centre for Clinical Research and Emergency Medicine is one part of this big institution. We are currently working on a research project which is looking into the diagnosis of stroke. When people present to the emergency department with symptoms of stroke, there are a number of different types of strokes that they might actually have. And even when we have expert neurological teams to look after these patients, the diagnosis can be wrong up to 20% of the time. And this is a worldwide problem. It's not limited to our emergency department. And it's something that really needs to change if we're going to make uh, a change in global stroke therapy. So our work at the moment is focusing on a diagnostic test, a diagnostic marker in the blood of stroke patients that might be different between these types of strokes. And so we're using our laboratory and our facilities here to mine through blood samples from these stroke patients and to try and identify those markers. My career in research kicked off in 2001. I uh, had finished my PhD in basic immunology and I started off a research project looking at myoblast transplantation therapies. I then um, was awarded a postdoctoral position in Europe and I moved to Europe to uh, join a xenotransplantation group looking at islet transplantation for diabetes and I stayed with that research team for six years um, and after that period decided to come home and started with the Harry Perkins Institute in the Centre for Diabetes Research with Grant Morahan's group looking at stem cell therapy for diabetes. After a couple of years with this team, I then started um, my position with the Centre for Clinical Research and Emergency Medicine, putting my immunology background to use in a more clinical arena. And that's where we find ourselves today. By the end of this research project, our results will help to build a new diagnostics test that clinicians and doctors in the emergency department will be able to use to diagnose stroke and to differentiate between the different types of stroke so patients can get the right diagnosis and the right treatment. Mm -hmm.